welcome to Florida, everybody, and welcome to Tallahassee for those of you who have never visited here before. My name is Doc Kokel. I work for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, and for the next two days, I'm going to be your facilitator. Let's go through some of the logistics first. If you haven't found it, the restrooms are in the corner of the room back over there. If you would, take a moment, pull out your cell phone, turn them on vibrate. If you get a call and you need to take it, don't hesitate to stand up and walk outside. There are refreshments over here throughout the day. Don't hesitate to stand up, walk over, get some, move back to your seat. We will have some breaks, but I just want to let everybody know that you're free to move around as, as you like. Um, as facilitator, my role is to get things started on time. So far, we're not doing really well on that. <laughs> and, uh, and really just to, uh, to keep us focused on why we're here today. There's a lot of information, but what we're hoping that you're going to walk away from this conference with is hard information, actionable items that you can use when you get home about the communication and delivery of prescribed fire messages. I've worked with several of the folks out in the audience over the years, and um, many people understand I'm a, I'm a behaviorist. I don't really care if people know something. I'm more interested in what they're going to do with that knowledge. So um, when my folks come to me at work and say, I just want people to understand. Now, I don't care if they understand or not. I want them to do something. Okay? And that's what we're all about today. If you have any questions as the speakers are going along, please feel free to raise your hand. Um, and probably we'll have time at the end of each one of the sessions to take, uh, to take questions. Do we have the folks online? Okay. We have some folks who've called in, um, and if I don't, please remind me to acknowledge their presence because it's easy to forget that they're out there. Folks that are on the telephone, can I have somebody tell me that you can hear us? They yeah. have. They have. Okay, very good. The reason I'm saying this is if you're in the audience and you're asking a question, I need you to kind of project. Um, well, you know, this is, I used to tell my kids you had inside voices and outside voices. What I'd like you to do here is use your outside voice because that's where the people that are on the call will hear you from. So project, and if they don't hear it, we'll just repeat it as we go along. Um, there may be times during the day when I say, let's put that question in the parking lot. And there's some whiteboards over here. Uh, if something is a really good question, it's a little bit off topic, or we just don't have time at that moment to really explore, we'll get it on our parking lot. And then as we have time as a group to just explore different things, we'll go back to them so that we can stay on, on task. Anybody have any questions about logistics? Okay. So without further ado, Jen. Mm -hmm. 